I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Amen. 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 I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Amen. 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 I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and in life everlasting. Amen.
The Mass is also being live streamed, so welcome to those who are joining us from their homes, those unable to be here with us. We celebrate these two great figures in the Christian story. As we do so, let's not lose sight of their frailty. Let's not lose sight of their weakness. Peter, who betrayed the Lord, denied knowing him. Paul, who sent to preach to the, the nations, was, by all accounts, one of the worst preachers you're ever likely to bump into. So seemingly impossible tasks that they were, they were given. But with God's grace, they were able to do what God wanted them to do, and God did the rest. And so with us, if we do what bit we can manage to do, we trust that God then will do the rest. God will complete what it is that we are unable to do, because none of us here is God. So we pray today in a particular way for uh, John Snowden, as is being offered for him, for the repose of his soul. And we place ourselves, as we always do at the beginning of Mass, in God's loving presence. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, and you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on the solemnity of the Apostles Peter and Paul, give us the noble and holy joy of this day. Grant, we pray, that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Herod started persecuting certain members of the church. He beheaded James, the brother of John, and when he saw that this pleased the Jews, he decided to arrest Peter as well. This was during the days of unleavened bread, and he put Peter in prison, assigning four squads of four soldiers each to guard him in turns. Herod meant to try Peter in public after the end of Passover week. All the time Peter was under God, the church prayed to God for him unremittingly. On the night before Herod was to try him, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, fastened with double chains, while guards kept watch at the main entrance to the prison. Then suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood there and the cell was filled with light. He tapped Peter on the side and woke him. Get up, he said, hurry, and the chains fell from his hands. The angel then said, put on your belt and sandals. After he had done this, the angel next said, wrap your cloak round you and follow me. Peter followed him, but had no idea that what the angel did was happening in reality. He thought he was seeing a vision. 
They passed through two guard posts, one after the other, and reached the iron gate leading to the city. This opened of its own accord. They went through it and had walked the whole length of one street when suddenly the angel left him. It was only then that Peter came to himself. Now I know it is all true, he said. The Lord really did send his angel and has saved me from Herod and from all that the Jewish people were so certain would happen to me. The word of the Lord. The response is, from all my terrors, the Lord has set me free. From all my terrors, the Lord has set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. Terrors, the Lord has set me free. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me, from all my terrors he set me free. From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called. The Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. My life is already being poured away as a libation, and the time has come for me to be gone. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. All there is to come now is the crown of righteousness reserved for me, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all those who have longed for his appearing. The Lord stood by me and gave me power, so that through me the whole message might be proclaimed for all the pagans to hear, and so I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from all evil attempts on me and bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To God be glory for ever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you can, please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he put this question to his disciples. Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say, He is John the Baptist, some Elijah, 
and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up. You are the Christ, he said, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, son of Jonah, you are a happy man, because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. If you were looking for a, a rock, a foundation stone on which to build, you'd want something pretty solid and substantial. You wouldn't want something that might crack under the weight, would you? You wouldn't want something that might come loose because it's not properly shaped. You wouldn't want something with a hole in the middle. You want something, something good and proper. And we know with hindsight, looking backwards, that the person Jesus chose, Peter, and Paul also the great uh, teacher, they were able to do what the Lord called them to do. There is a reasonably well-known, I suppose, in churchy circles, uh, a little reflection um, supposedly written by the Jerusalem Better Business Society uh, where they've done an assessment of the apostles and he goes through each one. This one is depressive. This one can't be trusted. This one, this, this one, that. So he, they pull all of the apostles apart and say, we wouldn't recommend any of these for your enterprise except one. And the man we really recommend, the man who's got the brains, the man who's got everything that he needs that this be a successful enterprise is Judas. So, when we look at ourselves, we maybe feel that in the business of the living of the gospel, the business of sharing the faith, the business of whatever we feel called to by the Lord, that we're not up to the job. We aren't sufficient for the purpose. But don't forget, God has chosen you. God has chosen me, each one of us, with all our failings, with all our flaws, with all our weaknesses, as well as our strengths and our gifts, God has chosen each one of us. Not one of us is here by accident. We're here because somewhere in the depth of our being, like Peter and like Paul, we have heard God's call. So we do what bit we can, and we trust to the Lord to do the rest. Let's ask God to strengthen that faith in us and in our parish community. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for our own Bishop, Terence Patrick. Pope Francis has asked the Church to pray for him in a particular way today. I'm not sure why, but he's asked for the prayers of the whole Church for him today in particular. So we pray God's blessing on him and all that he has to deal with at the present and for him that he may have that sense of peace of heart and mind, that he also, with all his weaknesses and frailties, is called and chosen by God. Lord, in your mercy. 
for our parish community, our parish family. That we may be able to see how the Lord wants us to use the gifts that he's given us in such abundance. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the sick, those in our city's hospitals, those who were at home, those in nursing homes, and for all who care for them, that they may care with kindness and love. Lord, in your mercy. And for those who have died. We pray for John Snowden today. For our own loved ones. And we pray also for those who grieve and mourn. Lord, in your mercy. And we ask Mary to join our prayers to hers. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Loving God, hear us as we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May the prayer of the Apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration. And may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, by your providence, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, bring us joy. Peter, foremost in confessing the faith. Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so each in a different way, gathered together the one family of Christ, and revered together throughout the world, they share one martyr's crown. Therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down upon them like the dewfall your spirit, 
that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Terence Patrick our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our brother, your servant John, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember, all our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. We pray as we are taught, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus, Peter said to Jesus, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus replied, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. And for those at home, those watching by the live stream, we make our act of spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and desire to receive you. Since I cannot at this moment receive you in holy communion, please come anew into my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be parted from you. Amen. Universal Church. 
church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and in life everlasting. Amen. Uh, of a similar age will remember um, since Peter and Paul was always a great day because it was always a holiday from school uh, with it being a holiday of obligation but um, it was um, those days are gone it would seem but uh, it was always a uh, yeah it was always it stands out in my memory anyway as, as one of the good days uh, to get a day off school in the summertime so have a day off whatever you're doing <laughs> and uh, try and build in something something joyful um, so that the feast isn't just what we do here but spreads out into uh, into how we how we spend the day hopefully joyfully the Lord be with you may Almighty God bless us Father Son and Holy Spirit the mass is ended let us go in peace of the church and heroes of faith we honor you today beloved saints peter and paul martyrs for god apostles great pillars of the church and heroes of faith we honor you today saints peter and Parish needs it every day. Below it, Saints Peter and Paul, servants of God, faithful till death. We need your help to answer God's call till the end. To live our faith, beloved Saints Peter and Paul, servants of God, faithful till death. We need your help to answer God's call till the end to live our faith. Saints 
Saints Peter and Paul pray for us all that we may love the Lord always. We count on your help, dear patron saints. This parish needs it every day. Saints Peter and Paul pray for us all that we may love the Lord always. We count on your help, dear patron saints, this parish needs it every day.